Understanding exponents may seem scary to talk about, but they really aren't that tough and follow algebra rules just like normal numbers. When you understand exponents, you can easily make huge numbers, find areas, and even measure a wide variety of things. What is an exponent? Let's look at an example to answer this question. Take 2 to the power of 3. 3 is the exponent, and all it means is that the 2 is being multiplied by itself 3 times. Hmm. We can also have negative exponents, which work slightly differently. For example, 2 to the negative third power is just 1 over 2 multiplied by itself 3 times. Another way to deal with negatives is to notice that the 2 to the negative third is equal to 1 over 2 raised to the third. This is helpful if you need to switch from negative to positive exponents while simplifying. We know that exponents can be negative or positive. But what about fractions? Well, the numerator of the fraction will be the power the base is raised to, and the denominator will be the power of the root. For example, 2 to the 1 half power is just 2 being square rooted, and 2 to the 1 third power is just 2 being cube rooted. Exponents also have some special properties. Like anything raised to the first power is itself. And anything raised to the zero power is 1. Exponents can also be added, subtracted, and multiplied. But to do these, they must have the same base. You add exponents when two numbers with the same base are being multiplied. Subtract exponents when two numbers with the same base are being divided. Multiply exponents when an exponent is raised to another exponent. Now that you know what they are and how they work, well, what's the point? Exponents are used to make huge numbers, like a Google, which is 10 to the 10 to the 10. To find the area of a square, we raise length to the second power. Exponents are even used to measure sound, the power of earthquakes, and even how strong an acid is. These are just a few examples. There are tons more places where exponents are used.